Hi, my name is Phil and welcome to Labour Vision where we discuss Labour policy and in this video I'd like to discuss Labour's plans to raise tax revenues without raising tax rates as Rachel Reeves has been discussing some more specifics again this week. And first of all, apologies if there's a hum. Sorry, the, uh, the grass cutting around me has been going on all afternoon. It's been going on for hours. It's never stopping. But anyway, Labour are going to have a problem. Everyone agrees. Even the former Conservative Chancellor, Ken Clark has been popping up to say, do you know what? Whoever wins the next election is going to face the most challenging time of any government. The economy is in a hole. 14 years of allowing our national infrastructure to crumble away. Little to no sign of maintenance, let alone modernisation. Brexit continues to constrain both our trading potential as well as hanging over our politics like a dark cloud. Labour know they need to invest. They are treading a fine line between acknowledging the need to invest while shutting the door on ideas that they're going to worsen our economic situation with too much borrowing or too high taxes in the interests of avoiding letting the Tories have tax and spend attack lines. So Labour have committed to not raising tax rates, having borrowing fall as a share of GDP and having ruled things out like, you know, like wealth tax. So how do Labour invest without raising more taxes? Well, they don't. They are aiming to raise more taxes. They're quite open about that. They just make it clear that no tax rate will be raised. So if you're already paying a particular tax, you will not be paying more of that tax. Their focus is on making people pay the rates of tax that they should be paying, but are currently not paying. That, you know, that everyone else is paying, some are evading or avoiding, depending. And there are two main types, as discussed by Labour. The first is tax avoidance, which is legal, but it takes the form of like tax breaks. So they're going to close off tax breaks which aren't providing enough benefit. Reeves has talked about this quite a bit. She's even mentioned a few specific tax breaks which are going to be closed off, such as VAT on private school fees. But this is closing off the legal ways to avoid paying tax, as I say. We also know there's a lot of tax evasion. Now, unlike tax avoidance, tax evasion is illegal and any government should be chasing after that money. Rachel Weaves has, in the last week, announced that Labour will be boosting the funding of HMRC in order to chase the tax dodgers, as she puts it. She said that the head of the National Audit Office has claimed that there's about £6 billion a year potentially extra available by chasing after this evaded tax, but that the Conservatives only have plans to recover a billion pounds a year of it. Labour aim to get to just over five billion pounds a year by the end of the Parliament, which can then be used to boost investment in the NHS and breakfast clubs. It's known that if you hire more tax inspectors, they will always more than pay for themselves in terms of returns. In fact, they pay for themselves many times over. Labour's paper on closing the tax gap, which I'll link below, also talks about creating genuine deterrence for tax evasion. It talks about how prosecutions and penalties have declined since the Tories have been in office. The suggestion from Labour is they want to see criminal prosecutions taking place for those who evade taxes. And given that there is a focus on supporting HMRC to deal with what they call complex cases, that is a suggestion that what they're going to do here is focus on the big tax dodgers in a way that the Conservatives don't seem interested in. This is essentially how Labour intend to provide that investment needed for growth. Like the Labour front bench frequently emphasise the fact that investment is going to need to come after the economy grows. Yeah, we, we absolutely want to fund this more, but we need to grow the economy first. And critics will point out, well, you need to invest before you can expect to see growth. The economy is not magically going to grow just because we have a more competent government. Because part of that competence is building up the infrastructure that the economy needs to thrive. And all of this is perfectly true. Labour is simply making sure that the Tories do not get to push tax and spend attack lines. It's really that simple. They know growth needs investment. They know investment needs more money. And their spending plans include more money. Now, usually parties in opposition make the argument that efficiency savings can unlock more investment. And surely this would have been easy for Labour. We know that the government are being very wasteful with their public contracts and, and in two ways. Some of the waste is because the contracts are private contracts where they shouldn't be. 
Some are wasteful because they're given to unsuitable companies who do not deliver what was promised, but, you know, chucks a few quid the Tories way. It would be easy for Labour to lean into the obvious Tory waste. Things like, for example, budget of £37 billion for track and trace and Parliament themselves concluded didn't do anything. So they can easily show to a lot, point to a lot of waste and say, look, just reallocating the existing funds would yield much better results. But they're obviously not content to fall back on the traditional lines of reasoning. They're saying, yes, we need more money, uh, but ordinary people and small businesses are taxed enough as it is. But look over there, there are some a small number of very wealthy people or very large businesses who are not paying what they should. We're going to change that. So there we are. That's the latest on how Labour will be boosting tax revenues without increasing tax rates and without falling back on the tired old arguments about efficiency savings. If you found the video interesting, please click the like button and subscribe for further content. And until next time, I'll see you later.